not mean for that to happen. Really, really need a haircut. What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm so, so glad you could join me today because Today is a very special edition. I'm gonna be interviewing a female that I work with. Now, the reason for this video, okay, she's not just any female. She's a coworker of mine, and she's a master arms second class in the Navy. So, she's gonna give you her insight and her perspective about being a female in the military. Stay tuned. What's up everybody? We are live with the interview. Once again, I want to say thank you for tuning into the channel. I have with me here today, MA2 Bigum. Now, I wasn't going to do this in civilian clothes, but we are at work right now, so I'm going to be referring to you as MA2. Is that okay with you? Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so, I just want to do a few warm-up questions. First of all, I want to say it does take a lot of confidence to step in front of a camera. Are you nervous? Um, you can loosen a up. A little bit now. <laughs> you can loosen up a little bit. This isn't like Fox News or CNN right. well, hey, or anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First of all, oh, I'm gonna address the patches. So the patches are not mandatory. I know they may, may look better with or without them. So before any of the rude comments start, um, she is not out of uniform. She is perfectly in uniform. We don't have her covers on because we are covered. Now that that's out of the way, uh, just give a brief introduction about yourself. All right, you want me to hold it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, hi, my name is uh, Emmy 2 Bigum, and I've been in the Navy for just under 12 years. This is my fifth command, and I'm from a little town in Indiana. Okay. Good? So, what, what commands have you been to? Um, I've been to Portsmouth, Virginia at the shipyard. That was my first command. Loved it there. And then I transferred to Bahrain in 2009. Spent 10 months there. Came back to Norfolk, Virginia in 2010. And then from there, I went to Okinawa, Japan in 2012. Uh, spent three years there, and then I came to the beautiful Seal Beach, California, in 2015, and I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's it's nice here. Do you like it here? I love it here. Me too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. So wait. Let me uh, let me grab my phone real quick. I have some questions I'm going to ask you. Mm -hmm. You can continue with the intro or whatever <laughs> if you want. You can tell some jokes, maybe. I'm not a good joke teller. Sorry. I'm not a very funny person. All right. So since I think this is going to be a serious interview because most people that are watching this are going to be um, maybe females considering the military or considering the Navy even, maybe even considering being a master at arms. Mm. So I want to um, I want to ask you a few warm-up questions first. Okay. What's your favorite color? Orange. Like a bright orange or like a dark orange? Um, depends on what mood I'm in, but orange, all shades. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you overall, over your 10 years of experience, do you like the Navy? Um, well, first of all, it's almost 12 years. Oh, I'm um, sorry. I'm sorry. But um, yes, I do love the Navy. Um, okay. Like, I think anybody has its ups and downs and, um, you know, it goes in waves. I hate it at times. Can't wait to get out. But overall, yes, I do love the Navy. Okay, cool. <laughs> You're doing a lot better than I thought you were. I thought you would be like choking and, and stuttering and everything. You're pretty <laughs> professional. So you're, uh, I should probably max your posture, actually. So we're well, I have to set up my belly. So oh, I okay. Over. Do you want to talk about that, too? Sure. Um, you want me to hold it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I am a mother of one right now. Um, my daughter is almost eight mm -hmm. and um, I'm actually five months pregnant. So yay, baby number two. And yes. it's a boy. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so we, we've, Emma 2 Bigam and I, actually we've had our, our fair share of ups and downs. And the reason I picked her for this mm -hmm. video is because she's not afraid to say what she really feels. <laughs> and I, so I think that's gonna help a lot. So let's get into the real question, shall All right, we? All right, here we go. Do you feel at any point that you have been looked down on because you are female in the military. Um, do you want me to hold it every question? Yeah, 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 oh, okay, okay. It'll be a little easier. Um, do I feel like I've looked down upon? Like I've looked down upon. I don't feel that way, no. Um, I feel like I've been very fortunate, very lucky to have great commands, um, great leadership. And I'm not just saying that just to say it. Like I really have gotten lucky in that aspect. And I don't feel like I've been... Um, look down upon. I feel like I've um, really been treated as an equal and I think a lot of that has to do with um, my attitude and my outlook 
on life overall and um, not wanting pity from anybody just because I'm a female. Like, no, I, I joined the Navy and I am just as equal as this guy over here. We do the same work. So, exactly. does that answer? Yeah, perfect. Cool. perfect. Once again, this isn't staged or anything. I just have a few questions that I have written down. So ev everything she says is, is true and what she really feels. Okay, second question. Do you feel like females in the military are held to a lower standard than males? Hmm. A lower standard? Um, no, I don't think they're held to a lower standard. If anything, I feel like um, we're looked at um, under a microscope more and we are held to higher standards because um, people expect us to fail automatically just because we're a female. Um, I maybe have a different outlook on life um, probably because of the way I was brought up and just my overall attitude in general but um, no I don't I don't think so not not lower definitely not yeah. but everybody has their different experiences so yeah other people will have you know different things to say yeah that's something I say throughout my videos is because just because mm -hmm. our or the people I'm interviewing their outlooks are the way they are it doesn't mean yours will be the same right all right at any point in your 12 years almost um, in your, at any point in your 12, almost 12 years of service, have you been targeted or picked on because you are a female sailor? That's a really good question. Um, yes, absolutely. But I don't look at it as a negative way. Um, the people I work with, they're my family, and we pick on each other like brothers and sisters. And I'm not just saying brothers and sisters, oh, because we're in the service. Like, no, I can pick on this guy and... You know, it has to do with tough skin. He can pick on me and it has to do with tough skin. And um, again, I think it all has to do with how I started out in the Navy and how I was raised. Um, again, everybody has different opinions and different um, situations that they've been through. But have I been targeted? Yeah, of course. But it's never been in a malicious way. It's never been, you can't do this because you're a female. Like, no, it's just friendly banter I guess yeah. in a mm -hmm. better lack of better words mm -hmm. and I think we can I think we can all attest to that mm -hmm. um, because I mean of course I've been picked on but I don't attribute it to my my race or ethnicity or gender mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. all right so last question I have mm -hmm. do you feel like it's harder to be in the military for females <sighs> do I think it's harder I'm mm. really really picking your brain right now <laughs> <laughs> um no, I don't think it's harder to be a female in the military because I don't expect to be treated differently. I don't um, expect anybody to be, oh, what well, was her because she's a female. I'm going to put in the same amount of work, sometimes more, just because that's who I am. Um, because I am a prideful person and I want to prove myself. Um, Hmm. I don't know what else to say on that one. It's, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't. I think it's all in how you want to carry yourself and how you want to act, mm -hmm. whether it makes it hard or not. And, of course, again, every situation's different. Every command is different. Every leadership is different. Maybe I've just been lucky. But I feel like it's cake, <laughs> and I don't think it's harder just because I'm a female. Mm -hmm. Okay. And maybe it has to do with my rating, too. I don't know. So... Okay, that's a good answer, I think. Um, now, the Navy does have a strict mm -hmm. policy on EO, which is equal opportunity. So uh, they do take it very seriously. In my experience, they do take it very seriously. And I feel like the Navy gives a fair chance to anybody who wants to, uh, as long as you're willing to put in the work and contribute to the team. Um, do you, you want to add anything? You can think of anything. This isn't, you know. Um, sure. Okay. Um, I think, you know, if you're watching this and, oh, I'm sorry, okay. Jason, I need to like it's eat okay. it. <laughs> um, I think if you're a female, um, watching this, thinking about joining the military, um, and you've seen or heard other people, other females, other males talk negatively about it, don't judge or don't make your decision based on that alone. Um, you don't have to sign up for life. 
you know, um, you sign up for a few years, you don't like it, then get out. That's fine. But at least you tried it. Don't be afraid to try. You may love it and you may stay in for 20 plus years. Um, I look back and think, what would I be doing right now? I I don't want to think about that because, um, who knows? I love the life that I have. I love the life that I can provide for my children. And the whole reason I joined was because, you know, both my parents are retired Navy and the life that they gave my sister and I, and, um, and it's been awesome. I've been able to travel the world and I will continue to, and you can't beat the benefits. So definitely don't base anything. If you're a female, don't be afraid. Like life brings you down. Things happen in life. You have to just get back up and keep going. That's it. <laughs> that was, that was actually good. I'd try to like throw some motivating words in my videos, <laughs> but, but that was, I, you pretty much topped them. Um, <laughs> All right, I can't think of anything else uh, right now, guys. So, anyways, drop your comments below, and uh, I will rele- relay them to MA2 Bigum here. MA2, thanks for doing the video. No problem. All right, out. I'm not using the puppy to get likes. <laughs>